Let's go ahead. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. And today I bring you a sermon on keep your keys. First Kings chapter 19 and verses 1, the Bible says, And Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with a sword. So Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say, May the gods deal with me, be it so severely if by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like that of one of them. Elijah was a great prophet. But when he was charged by Jezebel, who the Bible says sent a messenger, he got so scared. Elijah could hear from God. He had many encounters with God. He had seen many miracles. But when he was confronted by Jezebel through a messenger, Jezebel was the wife of Ahab the king and didn't even come to deliver the message to Elijah. He sent a messenger and the words of the messenger scared Elijah to death. And the Bible says he left, ran away and went hiding. He was so scared. He was so lonely. He was so afraid. Fear reigned and uh, he ran away from his base. And this uh, 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 morning, I would like to encourage you not to hand over your keys to the enemy. Do not fear, because when you allow the enemy to turn on the key on your life, you will be dispraised. You will run away from your praise. You will leave your calling. You will leave your ministry. You learn away from your family because of fear. That is what the enemy want to do. He want to use your key and turn it and lock you or chase you away. That is what Jezebel did to Elijah. She scared him, talked about dispersing him and killing him. And Elijah had seen great miracles. He had seen fire come from heaven. He had seen the fire consume water and stones, something that never happens something that fire doesn't do. Fire doesn't consume logs. Fire doesn't consume stones. Fire does, doesn't just come from heaven. He had an experience with God. He had seen countless miracles. But at the words of Jezebel, he ran away. I don't know what is chasing you today. I don't know what you're afraid of today. Do not allow the enemy to turn you on or turn you off. Do not allow the enemy to use the same key of fear of scaring to move you from the calling of God. The situations you see, the words that the enemy use, should not be used to move you because you know the promises of God are yea and amen. They last forever. And God will keep his promise. If, if he has called you and pressed you to do something, he will back you with the heaven, with his heavenly angels. Elijah was so scared. One thing that made Elijah uh, more afraid and, and, and really made him run away is he was alone a prophet. Most of the things he did, he was alone. Remember when he ran away, he, he went and hid. And when God came to him, he said, I honor. He didn't know there were 7,000 prophets that were also somewhere. He thought he was all alone. He judged things from a loner's position and, and, and went hid in a cave. The Bible says he hid in a cave. And most people have learned away and withdrawn themselves to different kinds of caves, thinking they are the only ones experiencing problems, thinking they are the only ones who experience hardship, thinking they are the only ones that are going through a situation or a temptation. He told God, I only am the prophet. My brother, you are not the only one. You are not the only preacher. You are not the only saint. You are not the only believer. You are not the only one who is being tempted. The Bible says you have not been tempted with the temptations that others have not experienced in the world. So you are not alone. You are one among many. He withdrew himself into a cave. I don't know what cave you're hiding in this morning. I don't know where you have withdrawn. I don't know what you have left. You have left your ministry. You have left your calling. You have left your family. You have left your business and you have withdrawn into a lonely place. Caves. Most people hide in caves. They withdraw themselves. In the cave it's cold. In the cave it's lonely. In the cave 
there is no right, it's dark in the cave. And when he was there, thinking he's the only one, and telling God to take his life. The Bible says he went to a juniper tree, slept there, and prayed that God take my life. There are people who want to die before their time. I don't know whether you know up to now, several thousand years, Elijah has not died yet. He was taken to heaven. The, the prayer has not been answered yet. I don't know what, why you want to, to, to die. I don't know why you want to be finished. I don't know why you want to give up. Don't allow the enemy to turn on the key. Speak to that situation. Speak to that, that challenge. Speak to that scaring word from the enemy. The Bible says when Jesus was tempted by the devil, when he was in the wilderness, he told the devil, it is written. Use the word. The Bible says at the cave, the word of the Lord came to Elijah. The word will save you. The word will stop the key. The word will stop the fear. The word will stop that situation. It will stop it. God bless you as we continue. Amen.